Good evening, everyone, with a private instigator. And we're here to answer your questions from the internet. Internet. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Starting with this one. What hair dye do we use? I use Manic Panic. I also use Manic Panic. Electric Lizard Green. Hey, watch this. Watch this. It was already glowing. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was, okay, it was uh, glowing here, watch me change positions for it to be exactly the same. Watch my transformation uh, not work. I, I, I use what my mama gave me and my papa gave me. Well, we're getting but, it. Um, we're we're yeah, working on it. With there's going to be something. I'm thinking purple. Actually, that's a good question to ask our fans now. What do you think would be a good hair dye for me to go with? Not what I, brand, but what color? What yes. color hair? What color hair? I'd love to hear it. And I'm open to every option. So, everybody in your comments section, everybody let's hear say it. plaid. If you say plaid, I'll never play in this band again. <laughs> say plaid. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Next question. Um, why was I driving a Maserati through Chicago? Well, um, yeah, who would trust you with a Maserati? Well, apparently my current. I wouldn't trust you with a station wagon. My, I would love a station wagon. I wouldn't trust him with a, with a radio flyer take, wagon. I would take a Buick Roadmaster. <laughs> In a heartbeat. Uh, I was driving it because, well, people trust me with it. Let's put it that way. I don't know who or why. The why is really the real question. <laughs> yes. Now, recording. Are we going to have any recording soon? Well, you have to answer the question first. I'm asking the band. No, no, why did you drive the Maserati? Why did you drive the Maserati? It's, it's, it's easy. It's like crazy. Because I was paid to drive it somewhere. That's what I do during the daytime, when I'm not breaking screens. It's his job. Go on, I next work, question. I work on cars as my day job right now. I'm also, also as your poor. hobby, and in your dreams. In your lifestyle, really. Yeah. Well, okay, it's not working on cars in your dreams. Many mufflers no. have been penetrated, that's all we gotta say. See? <laughs> he, has, he has dreams where he gets inside of cars, that's all I'm saying. Again. Over and over. I've had two dreams of cars my entire life. One was, <laughs> was a Maserati Gran Turismo, and, and of all vehicles, a uh, Buick Roadmaster Woody Wagon. <laughs> Those are the only two I remember. Next question. Next question. When are we going to have a new recording to release? Well, uh, we uh, actually other than this recorded, video. other than this video, we already recorded one at um, Gold Digger's Gold Studio in Los Angeles. So now it's currently being mixed by Mikey Brezen, a phenomenal uh, audio technician that has done you know, sound for Disturbed and a bunch of stuff. So he's working nonstop on our stuff, and we'll, it will be out soon. Our first single from the new album. Now so the new album. Look for that. The new album, we're, uh, we're actually in the planning stages of a Kickstarter so that we can afford to record the new album. Uh, which it's we, expensive. It's, I'll tell you, if I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me when the new album was, we'd have enough to record. No, we still wouldn't. It's really uh, expensive. True, yeah. But That's people a ask point. a lot. <laughs> so, all right. So we're we're working on it. Right. Though. That's that's the trick. All right. Next. So next question. Next question. What happened to our original drummer Jeff? I'm gonna let Keith handle it. Yeah, all right. So just... Jeff decided that he wanted to focus on a career in film editing as opposed to a career in drum playing. So uh, we bid him adieu and replaced him with someone who was way more obnoxious. It was perfect. <laughs> they literally just found the next asshole with the drum kit and went, yeah, you're hired. Come on. I mean, it was basically That's me. Yeah. yeah. I also conned him into losing a contest with... <laughs> oh, that's right. With, um, that's right, the race. The, with, with, the, with the race. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> we, we, no, we remember doing, the contest. That's where so, we first met. So we had uh, with the minivan. And, oh, you and the Johnny Chops show. Bastard, the Johnny I Chops. That. Johnny Chops uh, uh, was doing what was it called? The band. It band, was. It was like the band, band challenge. Band, 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 band challenge. challenge. And so what we had to do was we had to load our gear onto these two vans, or into the vans, and then of each other's band. Right. At the time, so I was only in couple of scarcity. So we loaded his van. He loaded my truck. And then at the end, you had to drive, and whoever made it to the end of the parking lot first won. Well, the thing was, Dominic's got a kill switch in his car, so he flipped it off so the car couldn't start for anybody other than him. So Tommy, Tommy and, was it Tito, I think? The yeah, two, unfortunately. Tommy and Tito, <laughs> Tommy and Tito took the... 
toys that we told them <laughs> the to. Toys. No, um, they, they, they barely gear. had anything. They had like an amp and a guitar. We they, didn't have a drummer. The we didn't have a drummer at the time. We didn't have a drummer at the time. Tommy has like his giant, massive fuck off drum kit, and and he he. You know, we, we're still loading shit. They're done, right? They're like, we got this, we got this. And and then they get in the car and they can't start it. Tommy starts swearing. Dominic's like, it's fine, just get in. Go, 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 go. I had no idea. Yeah, I didn't I didn't tell him. Oh, I didn't tell him. The video. That's, that's yeah. how you succeed at life. Never tell anybody your next plan of action. Never tell Keith what you're about to do. So it's Dominic's <laughs> general feed. So that so. also answers the question of... How Tommy came into the band. Right. So, so I think that was the next question on the, on the sheet. Yes. So that solves two questions. Um, then they said, hey, we need a fill-in for a tour. I said yes. And thought, oh, it was going to be lame, but joined them, and it was an absolute riot. So I decided to stick with these guys. All right. and, and next question. Um, let's see here. Let's go for one that's for all of us, not just me. Um, what was <laughs> uh, Top... If you want to talk your top one, top one or top three influences. Go All right, it. well, let's just do one influence each then. Your biggest influence on your playing. Go for it. Johnny Ramone. <laughs> Boy, that's surprising. Shocker. <laughs> Keith? Um, I actually don't know who my single biggest influence would be. Might be um, probably James Jamerson. James Jamerson. That doesn't the, even sound real. But. James Jamerson is the, <laughs> is the the absolute master of the bass. He's the guy that played for the Funk Brothers, all the Motown hits. Oh, okay. James all right, Jamerson. All right. So then my biggest influence that really started my playing next to my father would be Iron Maiden, which I now have a tattoo to commemorate, <laughs> thanks to Keith and the wonderful people at... What, Adore. What Adore at, tattoo. Adore in, in Ohio. Uh, yeah. They changed the name recently. Yeah, it used to be Big Heritage. Head? Used to be Heritage. Okay. Now it's a door. Now it's a door. Uh, I highly recommend it. Yeah, Rob Allman and Carly Allman at a door tattoo. Great in, people. Uh, yeah, Kansas. absolutely. They're terrific. Yeah, they do good work. I have and two tattoos from them now. Um, I have good, one. Yeah, good folks. And my I'll, first. I'll never forget the way. I, I'll never forget the way I saw them uh, enjoying themselves at our show. And I don't mean that in a. Oh no, they, they were. They it were, was like Back to the Future Part One. Yeah, Those they two were, were loving it. Yeah, and they're in love with each other. I've never seen a love that hard before. That yeah. is. And I'm I, sorry. And, did you just say I've never seen a love that hard before? I did. I mean, the way they look at each other. It's. Mm. Yeah, I mean, if you can tell body language. Mm. They, it's, they are. It's. I've adorable. never seen any yeah, couple no, stronger right. than them. So, go them. <laughs> so, yeah. Influence actually, go done. to them. Go to them. Go, go to, to them. The door do tattoo yes. and candle. Let, let, them, let, them, let them stick it in you and take your money <laughs> with that hard <laughs> love. <laughs> yes, get a, get a tattoo. So, so next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Let's see. Um. We already discussed. Talked about a new record, another video. We've already done that. Uh, actually, um, we didn't talk about a video. So um, we we, didn't, yeah. we were filming portions of a video tonight. Uh, we were here at uh, Lumpen, which is Radio Free Bridgeport, one hundred five point five FM, with uh, John Daly and Jamie Trecker. Um, awesome and, guys. Uh, yeah, great, great fellas. Absolutely. We've we've been on the show before, but this is the first time that we've actually played. And as you can see, we were set up here and playing earlier. Uh, and uh, we had our lovely videographer, Bertie, who was filming us to use for a next video. So that's... Come in here, Bertie. Come in here. Yeah. No, come, come on in here. Come on. Come, come, on. come, come in here. Come, come say hi. Come on. Come, on. come say hi. <laughs> this, is, this, is this is Bertie. This is Bertie. He's we the man. Him. He's great. And he's absolutely terrific. <laughs> Any future work necessary, contact him. This is, this is Bertie. He's great. He's great. All right. All right. Back. All right. Back behind back the camera, Drew. That's my job. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay. I guess I'll. I guess this one's a personal one. Well, I guess two are actually directly at me. I'll answer one really quick, and the other one I'll put a little bit more effort into it. Uh, what is the firing order for a 327 engine for a 55? That's Chevy? a bullshit question. Uh, the answer is. What? It's it, a bullshit question. Unless the car is modified, there is no firing order for a 327 cubic inch engine because they never came with them. At the time, I believe they were 283 cubic inch engines, and they did not originate the 327 cubic engine until the Corvette, not the Bel Air. So, 
Moving if you have, on. If you have 57 with the 327, you put it in there, not the factory. Moving on. No. This is going to be a long video. Uh, yeah, this is really right, long I'll, video I'll, go, I'll go back to the personal one later. Let's have one for another. Oh. We can chop it. Okay. Michigan. Are we going back to Michigan anytime soon? I would love to. I would also love to. I would love to. If you would Michigan like us to come fantastic. back to Michigan, you'd like us to come back to Michigan, which I know you would, because we would like to go back to Michigan, because we've always had fun there. Your best bet is to send suggestions of venues to Keith at private-instigators.com. Send them to me, I will reach out to them, and then we will set up shows in Michigan. We'd be more than happy. What he said. Remember what the last venue was that we went to? And we kept joking about it for like three oh hours. Oh my god, yeah. We had a porn wait, wait, wait. star there. No no no, 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 no. What was the name of the place? <laughs> <laughs> we played a gig you. at a place called Rubbles. <laughs> Rubbles! <laughs> <laughs> and then for the three hours Barney Rubble. <laughs> on the way to the gig, uh, I said, hey, you know, this next gig, we're, we're at Rubbles. And, and Tommy does this. <laughs> and then every place we passed that said rock or stone, Hey, Tom. Fred, that's a pretty good one there, right? <laughs> we're, the we're, we're in a rock band, right? We're in a rock band? Rock! My favorite kind of music. Rock! <laughs> Three hours of this crap. It was, it was great. It's still funny. It's, to me. It is. To me. Which means... Right. Which means right. Don't, all right. So we would I love think, to be back in Michigan. Right. Next yeah, question. I'll, I'll do... Last one, I guess, is exclusive to me, then the rest are for the, everyone else. Uh, I, okay. Why am I not offended by anything? Well... The answer is, I guess you could say I have high mileage for my age. I had a terrible childhood, I've witnessed death multiple times, been betrayed multiple times, and lost nearly 80 pounds on my own. So I learned to just be self-dependent and not to trust anybody, and even your own family can betray you. And I just keep moving forward. So if someone just calls... Keep swimming. Keep just swimming. Keep swimming. So just just keep swimming. swimming. Just keep swimming. Swimming. So if someone calls me a name, I I don't care. I've I've had my head slammed in the ovens. I've had my parents steal six figures from me five years after the death of one of them. So I don't care. Yeah, I no. I, I, yeah. I, I think that's that one's gonna need to be. Yeah, that one's, I I think think that's gonna need to get edited. Yeah, yeah right. We're, we're it was, it's been, it's been three out. years. Three years. No right. offense to you. It's just I think that's, that one might need to be edited. And it does not fit with the rest of the video. Yeah. So that got deep and dark. I'm a little fast. too dark for most people, I guess. This is what happens when you ask someone to show their real personality. Well, this is my real personality. I know. Yeah, you want to cut up? All right. So. Well, yes, no. So, do we have anything we want to say to the fans? Fuck off. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, obviously, anybody that has been to one of our shows knows that "fuck off" is uh, is a song that we play, and it's actually the song that we recorded. In Los Angeles at Gold Diggers with uh, with Dave Trumpio and um, so we don't actually want you to fuck off. We want you to fuck on. Fuck, come the fuck <laughs> to our shows. Fuck on. <laughs> on you will fuck. Please. Fuck on. Um, but but yeah, uh, we don't really want you to fuck off. Obviously, but but we want you to be as excited about the recording of Fuck Off as we are. Um, we uh, we want to <laughs> see you come out to our shows, post stuff and tag us. Um, Feel free to like, ping us on Twitter, which we almost never check. Um, <laughs> but but you should do it anyways. <laughs> and uh, uh, what else? Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. We're both uh, P instigators. Uh, no like dash or dot or anything. Um, what, well, what? I guess I gotta say, just please uh, support us when we launch our Kickstarter, which will be oh, soon. Yeah, that's a good thing. Because that will be the difference between us coming to you and us not coming to you. And that's what's most important, is being on the road and getting exposure, getting our name out there, and playing in your town. So like Dominic said earlier, if you have a hard love for us, hard su support us so that we can come on you and expose ourselves to you in your town. Uh, and all I have to say to our people is, if you come up to me and say, asshole, you owe me a beer? You get a free beer at our shows. This is true. On me. So because he takes I've my drink tickets. I've been saying that for years. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm the only guy who drinks. So <laughs> keep that in mind, people. You come up to me, long-haired Joe Schmo, and say, "Asshole, you owe me a beer." You get a beer. 
It I'll only works for it. beer, though. It only works for beer. If you say only asshole, beer, yeah. you owe me twenty dollars. Not gonna happen. No, yeah, it's not. It's, not it's yeah. only a beer. Six. Shit and it's shit gonna be a two dollar PBR. I mean, I'm not made <laughs> of money. It's not gonna be a good beer. I'm not it's made of money, <laughs> but I owe you that, my friends, because without you guys, we wouldn't be anything. It's all thanks to all of you supporting us and all of you enjoying our music. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't happen. So, for all of those. Asshole, you owe me a beer. That's all you gotta say. Come to long haired guy. Guns N' Roses music video, as Keith so affectionately puts it. I wouldn't call that affectionately. Uh, fucking Keith. <laughs> so, come on out. Tell me, asshole, you owe me a beer. You get a beer on me. I'd say that pretty much wraps it up, boys. All yeah. right. Talk to you soon, internet. Right. It's only like 40 minutes long. It's a long fucking video. Thanks, Birdie. That's yeah, we did that a little too long. 16 and a half minutes. That's not, ah, that's oh, that's, that's, that's way that's less than I thought it was. And we can edit shit out. Alright, I got it.